What you're looking at here is a prototype signal head. Um, this signal was manufactured by Dialyte. Um, Dialyte is a big LED uh, supplier. Uh, they supply for a multitude of industries, um, including transportation and traffic signal. Um, Dialyte uh, is more widely known um, in terms of traffic signals for their door mounted LED modules that uh, are basically a sealed uh, LED unit that mounts to the door of a conventional signal head. Now this signal uh, is a prototype model that uh, they came out with a couple of years ago and uh, it doesn't use door mounted LED modules. It, uh, it uses an integrated LED lighting system that's built into the signal housing. So this signal is designed specifically for LEDs. It cannot use, it doesn't use light bulbs. It can only use LEDs. Um, and it does not use the door mount modules like a conventional signal would. Now the lenses on the front of the signal head, the red, the yellow, and the green, are the same lenses that are used on the Dialyte current LED door mount modules. But the optics inside are a little different. So let's pop this red section open so that we can get an idea of what it looks like inside. So that's inside of the integrated uh, signals red section. We got a couple of things going on here. First of all, there's no door mount LED module. The uh, LED engine, which is going to turn red here in about a few seconds, has six uh, LED chips on the board. The LED board is protected by this plastic cover that's screwed on. And the whole assembly is bolted into the uh, back of the housing. Here's a better look of, at the, uh, the uh, LED engine. Under there, we've got a couple black components here. The black component with the red uh, sticker on it is the power supply. And uh, to the left of that is a heat sink for the uh, red section, specifically because the red is, uses a different type of LED um, makeup. It requires uh, more cooling power, so there's an extra heat sink mounted to the uh, left side of this section. I've got this disconnected here so we can see inside. And uh, prepare yourself because it's not very exciting. The back side is completely potted. So you can't get to any of the components. But it's also sealed for protection. And then the, the uh, power supply, I can do this one handed, sits in a little clip at the bottom. And then you just push that forward until it snaps and we're back in place so that's the red section tighten her up and just briefly show the yellow section because that's where the cable connections are made. And there's the yellow engine on, also six LEDs. And there's the connection block with all of the uh, field cables connected. And uh, a warranty sticker from Dialyte. Now, the wiring in this signal has to be routed specifically in, uh, so that it avoids uh, wiring is uh, not being tra not traveling in front of the uh, LED engine and causing shadows on the lens face. So, their dilate added this uh, routing system. 
which actually says, I don't know how well it's going to come out, but it has wire runway. So the wiring runs up and down this channel, which is zip tied to the signal. And you can see there's no heat sink for the uh, for the yellow. And the green is the same, except that there's no uh, connection block in that head, in that section. So it's an interesting design, but it is a prototype, as I've mentioned a couple of times already. So it's a prototype because they aren't factory producing these signals. This is uh, was a trial design by Dialyte to see if it would be more cost effective to sell a one piece sealed signal head versus just the module. While it's a good concept, there are flaws and you'll see right here one of the flaws. The fact that it's a polycarbonate housing there is glow through with the light engine being so bright. So it's not so much so easy to see in the, in the uh, front of the signal face. If I shut off the lights in the, in the, in the uh, basement here, the green isn't too bad, but the uh, yellow, as you'll see here in a few seconds, hopefully, uh, is there's significant glow through in the dark. So we'll wait here and uh, see if we can get it to change to uh, to yellow here. I know I'm running in a coordinated cycle, so it might uh, be, be a few seconds before the uh, split is made, or, or the, the uh, sync is made to uh, go to the next phase. We'll be changing here momentarily, but you'll see the yellow is glowing through as well as the red, but the red is washing out, so you can see. So that's kind of the flaws that this design had um, on top of it being a very expensive signal head compared to a conventional model. It's about $150 more than, uh, than a standard signal head. So. While it was a good concept, they uh, need to tweak it before it's ready for production. But uh, I believe that this signal or this design will be the wave of the future of uh, LED signal heads. So there's a short little video. Well, it's not short, but it's a video on this particular uh, new type of signal head.